Hey everybody, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get a ChatGPT4 API key. All right, so if you want to use the ChatGPT4 or the official name is GPT4 API for any kind of project you have or for any kind of third party product, here is what you have to do. So first you have to sign up for the GPT4 API waitlist. It's really easy to do. All you have to do is add your name, your first name, your last name, your email address, the company name, the organization ID. I'm gonna show you in a second if you don't know how to get the organization ID of your ChatGPT account. I also have a tutorial on this, by the way. Then you have to select how do you primarily plan to use GPT-4. I think if you select build a new product or integrate into an existing product, you have a higher chance of getting access to the GPT-4 API sooner. Obviously, eventually everyone will have access, but the wait time might depend on what kind of use case you select here. Then you can also add why you need access to the GPT-4 or ChatGPT-4 API. You can add the reasons here and then click on join waitlist. Then once you have got access to the GPT-4 API, all you have to do is open up platform.openai.com. And if you have a ChatGPT account, you're gonna be able to sign in into this platform.openai website, which is basically the API interface of uh, GPT, of OpenAI and ChatGPT. And here's where you're gonna be able to create a ChatGPT-4 API key. And all you have to do is basically go to your account name here in the top right corner and select view API keys. And here's where you're going to be able to create a new secret key. And what you have to know is that one API key can be used for GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 as well. So actually, you don't have to wait to get accepted for the GPT-4 API. You can create your secret key right away, even if you don't have access to the GPT-4 API yet. Then once you have created a secret key, all you have to do, this is a test account, so that's why I don't have any keys, but you might have already created keys, then in that case, you don't have to create a new key and if you have a new account you might get access to the free trial you can check that here in the usage limit this is a second test account so I do not have uh, any free trial but if you have just created your ChatGPT account you might be able to get I think 5 USD for free but if you do not have a free trial or you have already used all the credits on your free trial you also have to set up a payment method so they can charge you for your ChatGPT for API usages so in that case all you have to do is click on overview and select set up paid account and select I'm working on behalf of a company and then you're going to be able to set up a paid account and then you're going to be able to use the chat gpt4 api one more thing i would like to show if you go to settings here's the organization id you can use for signing up for the chat gpt4 api waitlist but all in all this is how to get a chat gpt4 api key